Ladies and gentlemen, season two is now live for Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. And just like every other season, what I like to do is dive in and take a look at the battle pass microtransactions, discuss how they work and whether or not it is actually worth your money. And with recent seasons, we have received something new called Black Cell, which kind of changes the way that the battle pass works. So I wanted to show you that, what you get for it, and then discuss whether or not it is worth it. Now, one thing that I want from you guys is as we're going through this battle pass, I want you to let me know down in the comments whether this battle pass is a W or an L, whether you think it's worth it, whether you think it's not. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. So if you have any opinions, let me know down in the comments. But without further ado, let's dive into season two. Okay, so here is the season two updated battle pass. As you can see, we have a classified event in 27 days, which is gonna be when season two reloaded happens. Now, when you buy the battle pass, you instantly get rewards. Two operators, one of which is Kate Laswell, the other of which is Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. I think this skin looks amazing. There's also what is one of my favorites, send in the good boy finishing move, which of course is the dog, which is the finishing move, as well as the clank, which is a weapon blueprint for the MTZ 762, as well as your 10% boost to your battle pass throughout the rest of the season. So the other thing you're going to notice is with each of these operators, they also have a black cell version, which is the Rick Grimes black cell. As far as this goes to unlock these, including the Kate Laswell version that you are seeing here, which really looks nothing like Kate Laswell, you have to purchase black cell. Now, the price of this is going to be dependent on where you live. If I press purchase black cell, I live in Canada. It's $40 Canadian. Now, what you get with this is 100 plus unlockable rewards. Those are your battle pass rewards. You also get 1400 earnable COD points. That is through your battle pass anyway. Those things you're going to get regardless whether you buy Black Cell or just the battle pass. You also get 20 tier skips, 20 unique Black Cell items, some of which we already saw with Rick Grimes and Laswell, and we're going to look at moving forward, as well as the exclusive operator bundle, which is the one that you are seeing here for John Doe. This is our other character. He is seemingly a skeleton. You also get the Requiem Black Cell blueprint for the Sidewinder, the SVA 545 Molten Black Cell, 1,100 COD points. Those are your extra COD points, as well as the flesh stripped and gold dipped finishing move. Now, that is just the beginning. You're also going to receive items throughout the battle pass, which we are going to start to look at now. So in B1, this is our first kind of sector. We have the Gilbert, which a lot of things you're going to see here are going to be zombies themed, which I find incredibly weird because there's essentially no zombies content until season two reloaded. Uh, you also get the peekaboo emblem, 45 minutes of double weapon XP and shatter blast ammo mods. These are for zombies, of course. As well, you get the Groom, which is the Black Cell variant of the other weapon blueprint for the DM-56, which is the red and kind of white one that you are seeing here, which again, zombies themed. Moving into Sector B2, for this one, we have the large decal, we have an emblem, we have a calling card, we have a weapon charm, all of which are pretty useless in my opinion, but you also get the Karambit, the Edge Node, uh, which is of course a melee blueprint. Moving to sector B3, we have our first operator. This is Soap and his Hector operator skin. There's also a Black Cell version of Soap as well, which honestly, all of the Task Force 1 variants look pretty cool. On top of this, we have a calling card, 100 COD points, 30 minutes of double XP, and finally the Marigold, which is for the Pelumon. Moving next to B4, we have another character skin. This one is for Alpine called Kiri's. There's also a Black Cell version, so if you purchase Black Cell, you get this version of it, which oddly looks like Kate Laswell's version for this character as well. 100 COD points, a large decal, the weapon blueprint called the Mercy. This is for the TYR. This, again, reminds me of The Walking Dead and one hour of double XP. In Sector B5, this one, we have a weapon skin for the UTV. This one's called Trust No One. We also have the Bloodlust weapon sticker, calling card, emblem, and finally, another weapon charm. So far, a lot of weapon charms, a lot of stickers, a lot of things that I really don't like to see within the battle pass. Moving next to sector B6. This is where we have our first new weapon. This new weapon is called the Ram 9. It is an SMG, kind of the SMG version of the Ram 7. Also in this bundle, another large decal, another weapon charm, 15 minutes of double battle pass, and finally, another weapon sticker. Again, everything in here but the weapon, pretty useless. In B7, we have our second new weapon, which is the BP-50. This is an assault rifle, bullpulp assault rifle. 
Alongside this one, another large decal, charm, 30 minutes of double battle pass, and another weapon sticker. Moving into B8, for this one, we have 30 minutes of double XP, 30 minutes of double weapon XP, the weapon blueprint for the Lockwood 680 called the Shoot Your Shot. This one, pretty straightforward, nothing too special on it. A finishing move called the Ninjanuity, and finally, the skin for Farah called the Skulker. This doesn't even look like Farah, so I like that. And the Black Cell version is the one you're seeing here, a skeletonized version of Farah, essentially. Moving towards B9, we have another weapon blueprint. This just looks like the Basilisk, so I'm kind of confused as to what they did with this one. It's called the Trigger Finger. Uh, the Black Cell version of it, called the Opus, looks much, much better. On top of this, we have an emblem. We have the Incision. I actually really, really like this weapon blueprint. Completely whited out. You can almost see some veins going through it. 30 minutes of double weapon XP and a weapon sticker. Moving next to B10, we have 100 COD points. The Better Days FR556. Again, this one just has blood on it. We have the Find Out Weapon Charm. We have the Epic Ether Tool. So this one is for zombies, of course. It makes your weapon epic, uh, as well as the rare ether tool. So four ether tools in total, and then 30 minutes of double XP. I still don't know how I feel about getting items in the battle pass that you're just going to use and disappear. It just feels a little weird. In B11, we have a pretty cool operator skin for Valyria. Uh, this one is called Rupture, and the Black Cell version of her is what you are seeing here. We then have the Pale Death for the Bruin MK9. I do like this one. Kind of reminds me of Mass Effect, honestly. Then we have the Corner Check, the Crash Dummy for the Ram 7. Again, I like the kind of green and black vibe. And the LMG Go Burr finishing move. They really named the names of the finishing moves within this battle pass, I must say. B12, we have another green and black one called the Full Stop for the Tack Eradicator. Another large decal, another weapon sticker, another weapon charm, and 100 more COD points. B13, we have another dog finishing move. This one called Play Dead. Um, interesting. I don't know how it differs from the other one. We have one hour of double weapon XP, the Sleepless Wake, and then raw Ethereum crystals. So these pack a punch your weapons and zombies. Another, you use them up, they're kind of gone. And then the Ibis, which is for the H. RM9. Uh, kind of straightforward, the, more of the red and white themed on the weapons. B14, we have another weapon blueprint. This one is for the XRK Stalker. Pretty straightforward on this one. The Black Cell version going with the gold and black on the weapon. We have the Death's Maw emblem. We have the Shatter, which is a Riveter blueprint, and I do like this one. Um, a calling card and 100 COD points. B15, another 100 COD points emblem another really cool weapon blueprint for the bass b this one's called the crocus I, I do like this one it's different from the other ones that we've seen so far large decal and one hour of double weapon xp b16 we have ourselves captain price called the veil the black cell version of price of course got the bucket hat rocking that 100 cod points the submachine gun striker nine the makeshift again pretty boring weapon blueprint in my opinion 30 minutes of double weapon xp and then the resolution weapon sticker this one is ghost now his base version is pretty straightforward kind of what we saw with him in like modern warfare 2 style and then we have the venator black cell version of him which honestly is pretty cool 100 cod points a calling card 45 minutes of double xp and once again another weapon charm which again i don't really care about in B18, we have another white and red kind of Mass Effect themed Sabertooth Ram 9 and then the Black Cell version once again, the Mutation Calling Card, another Weapon Charm, another Corpse Claw, and then finally we have the Cryo Freeze Ammo Mod. Honestly, I don't like the ammo mods, they're just kind of a waste of space in my opinion. Um, B19, once again, another Mass Effect style. Black Cell, the Anguish version of the BP-50, which is the new weapon. So both of these blueprints are for the new Bull Pulp Assault Rifle. We have the Horde Hungers calling card, pretty cool calling card, uh, the Cade Dominion. And then we have Legendary Ether Tools here, as well as Epic Ether Tools, which uh, are the two different types of acquisitions. And the Legendary, you only get with Black Cell, which is kind of weird in my opinion. And then the Agent Marrow, um, which is a free emblem moving into our final sector b20 we have the scar riptide operator skin which honestly i do think is pretty cool it looks like he's wearing a plastic bag over his head though which is kind of weird as well as the black cell version of it as well 
another weapon sticker, calling card, emblem, and 100 more COD points. Now, once you complete it, this is where we get some cool items. So first of all, we get the shade version of Ghost. Honestly, pretty cool looking version of Sco Ghost, one of the coolest skins that we've seen, as well as the shade Black Cell variant as well, which again looks very good. Then we have the Warden skin called the Sovinia, probably saying that wrong, as well as Warden's Black Cell variant too. We also have the hands-on weapon blueprint, again, going with that purple and black theme. We have the Leave the Dead finishing move, which is kind of Rick Gar Grimes finishing move, and 300 more COD points. Now, what we are looking at here, honestly, I see some pretty cool things. A lot of the Black Cell skins for weapons and characters look very good. I like the Operator skins. I would say I like half of the weapon blueprints. Some that I don't like, for example, in B9 here, what even is this? This just looks like a normal gun. The rest of the things in here, though, the large decals, the emblems, the calling cards, the weapon stickers. D does anyone actually care about those? Like, I, honest opinion here. Does anyone actually care about those? Because to me, they're just a waste of space in getting you to the good items. So is it worth it? I think if you're going to buy the battle pass, the best bang for your buck is Black Cell. Otherwise, just buy the base version of it. You're going to earn back your COD points throughout the battle pass you're going to get 1400 cod points instead of 1000 you're going to make back your cod points and things like that but if you want the extra items i pretty much always think black cell is the only thing actually microtransaction wise worth buying i don't buy bundles i don't buy any of that stuff so when i do buy things it's normally the black cell version but like i said let me know what you think down in the comments if you like the season two battle pass you think it's worth it i think it's pretty cool rick grimes is in there but let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, found it informative, always appreciate it if you hit that like button, subscribe, all of that kind of jazz. Until next time, peace. We are, we are